Yeah. And he's just like, you right, mate? And I was just like, How yeah. you been, mate? You yeah, put your hand in your pocket. You yeah, yeah. Blocking <laughs> 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 the pipe. <laughs> you know when the, line, when the lines don't go up? Yeah, you get worried. You think it's not picking it it's up. It's because your voice is deeper, so it's like... It's a lot more lower. Yeah. Like, it's in like... When I'm talking now, it's just like... Like, it's just flatlined, mate. <laughs> I basically yeah. don't exist. Yeah, that's the issue. But then look... Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are you Ellis, Mike, now? What's going on? Because no, I am I'm moving. Top, I'm top. You can tell by this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're top. Yeah, I'm, I'm on top. Here we are. Welcome back to the podcast, mate. Like, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is Have a Seat Podcast, where we upload every single Sunday. Yep. Regardless we of We upload any every single week, <laughs> consistently. You've probably seen us on the YouTube algorithm, because we're that consistent. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing bits, like, yeah. We're trying. We're trying. Yeah. That's the oh, main thing. Oh, mate. So, we have just not had a break. Absolutely. Life. No time. Life has just been like, you know, you're only 23. But I know. I'm going to treat you like you're in your fucking middle age. <laughs> I'm just going to rinse you, mate. I'm just going to, I'm going to slap you every day. Every, every single day, regardless, yeah. mate. <laughs> but. One deadline gone, another one again. <laughs> we believe we've worked out a schedule. So that means. Yeah. Weekly episodes, Sunday. It's happening. You heard it here first. Yeah. Brackets should be. <laughs> <laughs> let's not, let's not do false promises. No, no. I think. I think we've got it on a Wednesday now. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we're locked in now. Yeah. Properly. I think we've got it on a Wednesday. I hope. <sighs> we've probably lost all subs, all views. This is going to get two views, me and Which, you. <laughs> <laughs> me and me going again yeah. to get some clips. <laughs> and two dislikes, me and you. <laughs> like, if, if you're still here, we appreciate you so much. Yeah, thank like, you for waiting. <laughs> sorry. I'm just, we're just sorry. Like, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen like last week, someone put like on the community thing, like just praying for an episode this week. Oh, wonder, no, if yeah. we'll, wonder if we'll get one. So, like you won't. <laughs> someone else said at this point, you might as well just film two. So that if this happens. To be fair. Up. I'm like, no, you know. <laughs> to be fair, you know, not today, but <laughs> I think, no, genuinely, I think. <laughs> this again? Procrastinating. No, 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 just genuinely, we ain't got time. But no, um, I, I genuinely think like we should do maybe two yeah. every Wednesday yeah, if we, we can. Yeah, we should try. Just, just so we've got backups. I agree. So if there's ever, you get it by a bus. Then we just firm it. We I ju- get beat yeah. up by an old woman. We're good. We're covered. We're good, yeah. No one will even know. You know what I mean? So I think we should start doing backups. I think that is a good shout. Um, I think that person should be our YouTube manager one day. Correct. Great advice. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man, we're back. We're um, back. Fuck me. What episode is it? I feel like this is thirteen. It, I think <laughs> it should it is. be episode fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have on it, been on episode fifty by now. <laughs> it is episode thirteen. Episode thirteen. Yeah, the last True one was fan. true fan. Yeah, the last one was was um was Lester is wild. Um, but yeah, man, a lot's happened. Um, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Um, how did you find the O2 show? Yes, that is where I wanted to go with mm, this. Yeah. Mate, first of all, first of all, Ellis shot me a message about three or four months ago. I said, yeah. do you want to come to the O2 show? The Shits and Gigs O2 show. And I'm like, yeah. And I've seen a lot of people asking the question, how... A, like two guys gonna make a live podcast show mm. like like what are they gonna do you know yeah. what I mean yeah yeah you don't know what to expect genuinely I came away from that and I would recommend going to see see them too mm. to absolutely everyone they're amazing like people are asking me people are asking me say what what did they do and I said yo you, you know one point I was I was dancing about in money and that <laughs> <laughs> I was dancing about in money these <laughs> flames are shooting out I was like, I was getting hit by these flames. <laughs> Mate, it, it was genuinely insane. Yeah. Like, it, like little, little things as well. Like, it was so good. Yeah, man. They, they absolutely smashed it. And I, I, was, I was happy as well because they purposely didn't tell, like, me and Rem or anyone. Yeah. Like, anything, really. Yeah, yeah. I knew about the segment I was on. But other than that, I didn't really know anything. So I was buzzing to watch it. Mm. 
like when I was watching it, I was like, oh my God. So I was just as shocked and just as surprised as everyone else. And it was sick. If like it, yeah. they, but the production was crazy. Mm. The, the, the ideas are just things like I, I ain't never even seen before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was mad. Yeah. Just the, like it's things, things so small as well. The, mm. um, the auto tune. Yeah. That was jokes. I had no that idea they were going to do that. I the s- live band, that was jokes. Yeah. The live band, I, I think the band made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. band was incredible. Like, it was just sick. Like, their intro song and stuff. Um, Like, like that. And it's just like, the band is, the band was sick. It was, it was mental. Yeah. Like, it's so cool having a band where they could be like, make a joke and then like, quickly spin to the band and be like, play this. Yeah. And then yeah. like, I loved um, in the story time what James did. You no, know, yeah, when he had yeah. the animation in yeah, the back. Yeah. That animation was sick, by the way. Shout out to Kayo. Um, he's done a few bits for them before. He's amazing. Um, I'd love for him to do stuff for us one day. Like, I'd pay him to do it and stuff. Uh, like, he does, <laughs> he does sick stuff. No, honestly, he is a sp- He's one of the best animators I've ever seen. He's fucking yeah, they, sick. They were, they were really They're amazing. clean, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're clean. But um, yeah, and they had like a little, the band was just pe- playing uh, like a little piano in the background mm. when James was telling his story. And um, James was saying, he said it on the pod, it was like, they just made that up within like two seconds. Really? Two seconds, they were just like, <laughs> piano That's tune. Mental. He said like, they just made stuff up, like they could just be like, the rhyme time beat they did, they made that up. No way. That was freestyle. I thought that was, I thought that was like nah. already in place and you lot come out. Nah. Today. Because as well, they just made it that's up. another thing. Can we just appreciate Ellis? And do you know when you came out and said, <laughs> <laughs> "Mate, I was like, I was like, okay, okay, he's he's fumbled it. Like the, his mic's not working, so I need to offer that." Yeah. Now nah, that's just a Kanye test. <laughs> genuinely, genuinely, if you drop the mic there, I would have gone. <laughs> fair. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Just said that and just went. Said, look, that, yeah. Because that, that for me was, was out of, and this ain't even like, like, because you're, because you're my boy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, this yeah. is, this is genuine. That was the best bar that I heard that whole time. Fair. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That, it was, it was so fun. So for, for context, I don't like, not everyone's probably seen the show, but so Shits and Gigs did a live show, O2. Um, it was fucking amazing and yeah basically we had like a little rhyme time segment and if you don't know what rhyme time is it's literally like for example Kanye West um, and you'll be like one two that's a Kanye test so you got a rhyme with West basically it's uh, actually with the last so word. difficult it's actually it's so really difficult. difficult I was in the it crowd trying hot. to do my Kanye bash you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're natural <laughs> but, no, uh, that was shit <laughs> but um yeah, um, and then uh, the the guys brought me out right at the end. So Darkest Man was on there, Harry Pinero was yeah, on yeah. there. And then I was right at the end as like a surprise. And to be fair, no one knew Darkest and Harry was going on evil. Did they not? No, no one knew. So we were all surprised guests and stuff. But yeah, yeah. to be mentioned in the same breath of them is crazy as well. No, nah, no, nah, you, got, you, got like, you got the final boss recognition. Yeah. <laughs> Final boss recognition. When that final boss come up, my hands are shaking. I was like, this is my boy, this is my boy. And you come out, I was like, eh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. Proper, oh. proper, like, I want to go back and just change that one moment. But. <laughs> it, was, it was so sick. Like, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, we played Rhyme Time. Um, Darkest battered me. Like no, it was it was close one, but Darkest got it in the end because I just I just ran out of words. Yeah, but it was fun. That I was proud of the test one because that was uh, that was improvised. I didn't I didn't plan that one. But I, also, I was proud. Yeah, that was in the moment. <laughs> that was in the moment. I that promise was, you now, I did I didn't was, I didn't plan that one. Do you know when I looked around at the people in the, in in like the audience and that? Mm. People are looking at each other. Going, that's a bar. Really? That's a bar. Yeah. I think H was up there going, "Who's this kid?" Because if if I I need I need a <laughs> ghostwriter or yeah. something. <laughs> I need a ghostwriter. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's looking to start a rap career, <laughs> we got a lad here. He's who's good with words. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, man. And um, it was it's, it's hard to like judge how people were responding it to, to it though, because I can't really yeah yeah, yeah. hear you yeah. couldn't hear anything. Oh, so right. when I, well, you could a bit, but you could hear some cheering and stuff. But 
I didn't know how people was. So when I was doing it, I was like, God, I hope people are liking it. Cause yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Like you can hear everyone, you know what people are reacting. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't see nothing. Mate, so, when you drop that one as your first one. Mm. Oh, you gotta come out strong. At that point. You gotta you know, come out strong. Uh, do you know, sometimes in public, I can be so antisocial. Yeah, in that moment, I was like, oh my <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Did you not just say that? <laughs> <laughs> and then there was, oh, was um, fun, there was another one, what you did. Uh, I've run out of words. What do you, can you suggest? Yeah. That one was cool. I like that. I will admit, I planned that one. Someone turned around and went, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone like two rows in front, ugh. <laughs> yeah, I, I planned. So I planned the crowd one and I planned the, there was one what I said where I said, um, progress, progressing through my storyline like I'm on my Kanye quest. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that one. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was planned. The other two, I think the other one I did was Zest and the test that that was in yeah yeah but yeah it was fun man i really enjoyed it, it was that good. was yeah it was unreal the and after party was sick as well yeah the after party was unbelievable that was sick you I, got hammered i got hammered i got hammered when's the last time you've been drunk like that because you were i don't gone. know i don't know i don't know how i got home well i said oh. i know actually i called my hotel room home i messaged you i said i just got home <laughs> Just got back to Leicester. <laughs> no. I was wondering how you were getting home because you, you were adamant. Because we left at like probably half 12, maybe even one. I think we left at one. Someone mentioned clubbing to me and I was like, let's go. Yeah, That's yeah, a great yeah, yeah. fucking idea. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, man. And then you were just, I was like, mate, how are you getting back though? It was only down the road, but I was like, I don't want to leave you. And you were like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. Like obviously you're with people anyway, but like... um yeah, uh, I reckon you ran home. You ran to the hotel even. I reckon you ran. You I always know. when you know where I was. When you when you're drunk, you just run. You're like Forrest Gump when you're drunk. I ended up in some right weird area. I don't like. I never <laughs> seen that area in my life, but I knew where I was going. Yeah, basically, what in happened the biggest, was one of the biggest <laughs> cities in the. <laughs> <laughs> just running around, <laughs> drunk, knowing where you're going. No, basically, what happened was so I had I had two like beers during the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sound going into the thing. Mm. Then I had another bit and then I'm like, okay, for you fucking... No, I won't, I won't. I was, just, I was like feeling it a little bit. And then someone brought Prosecco, right? Yep. And then I, I must have had like two or three glasses of that, mm. right? And then that's when people started going off, going off, going off. Yeah. That's how I'm going to get another drink. Do you want one? Just get another bottle of Prosecco. So I got another bottle of Prosecco. Bloody and it, between two of us and then I was like okay no, I'm I'm so lit now yeah don't judge me for uh, Prosecco as well and then <laughs> the other person went and got another bottle of Prosecco yeah so I drank three bottles of Prosecco that's crazy and three beers through at that point and yeah that's uh, crazy I don't know how I got yeah home. I just saw bottles and bottles and bottles I'm a small individual as well so like one bottle one bottle yeah. and I'm wrecked to be fair I reckon when we used to go pub, you used to have a pint of um, Strongbow. I reckon, I think two of them yeah, that, usually used to do you. No, wait, this is, this, is when I, this is when I was like 17. Yeah, yeah. 18, <laughs> legal. Eight, oh yeah, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, yeah. Definitely 18. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think yeah, I'm think i pretty sure two of them or three used to fr- do you. You yeah. were gone. Three, I was, I was gone. Two, I'm, sure. two I'm And thinking. that's Cider. Oh. So no. imagine Prosecco or beer. I'm a lightweight as any, like the worst lightweight yeah, in the world. Yeah, man, same. That's why I don't drink, mate. I can't do it. I went, I, the thing is, I was getting like, I had like, um, I was just having Coke. Oh. The, the drink. <laughs> yeah. So two nights. One off. Breaking um, lines up in the bathroom. <laughs> and um, one, one, of James's, one of James's mates came up to me and he was like, Yo, bro, what can I, what can I get you? What can I get you? Get you? And I was really peckish. I was like, oh, just some crisps. I know. And then you and come he, back over to us. Went, oh, God, it's loads of bags of crisps. <laughs> I got like five bags of crisps. Someone just remortgaged to get to get you like eight bags of crisps. <laughs> I didn't say to get that many. I said I was going to get them. I was like, oh, mate, I'm just going to get a load of crisps. I'm yeah. starving. Yeah. Like I haven't eaten all day. I was nervous. And um, yeah, and then. <laughs> he was just like, no, I'll get on. And I was like, I want like six packets. And yeah. he was like, no, I don't care. And he just got he took a pile of crisps. <laughs> and I'm just there uh, fucking snacking. Oh, it was good though. It was really good. Yeah, and it was, it was. The- I'm, I'm glad you met. I'm good. I'm fucking annoyed. 
You didn't get to meet Harry, but I'm glad you met Darkest. Yeah, that that was a weird that was a weird interaction. Yeah, you sort of we sort felt of looked... each other a bit. No, not like... <laughs> no, we didn't feel each other. No, no, no. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, yeah. So I I went obviously into the the like party area mm. and was just sort of sitting waiting for you. This mm. was when I was sober, and obviously Dark has come round. And we sort of like made eye contact and I think he's like at that point where he's like, mm. he knows who I am. Mm, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, probably, yeah. And he, yeah. He, he gave probably me a... gets it a lot to be fair. Like yeah. he probably, I reckon he gets recognised quite a lot. It's so weird because he looks short and skinny in per on video. He's, but in person, he's built. He's, he's built. He's hench. He's hench and tall. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I first met him, because um, I never met him before the show yeah so i was buzzing to meet him i was like, oh my god i've not met darkest and he was in his dressing room i knocked on mm. and he was sat down and i was like oh nice to meet you bro and then he stood up and i was like what the yeah, fuck he's huge he was it? like six three and hench yeah oh i was like mate and do you know when he hugged me on stage as well i couldn't breathe because he's <laughs> hench the thing is and he was just like that i was like oh. yeah he looks how i imagined harry panero would look you know, the build he has. In, that's yeah, in terms like, of like, yes, quite slim, tall. Tall, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I imagine that's how Harry Harry Panero would be when I seen him in person. Yeah. Like, and then, I don't know, man. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, Crazy. He's, he's hench. Yeah. He's hench. He is Because he ain't that much smaller than, than Harry, is it? He don't look that much smaller. You know, on video, you see it, he looks yeah. short. Yeah, yeah, Darkest looks short on video, but I, I don't even, I think he's the same height as Harry. I think. Is he? I think he is. He's tall anyway. I mean, maybe Harry's a bit taller to be fair, but yeah, man, it was a, it was a good night. Yeah. I think you definitely, you must've ran it like two in the morning. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. And I think I stayed in a stripper hotel. <laughs> oh God. Your hotel. I'll put pictures and videos on screen. I yeah. have to, I have to. So I just checked in. There's me. Oh, oh right at the top of my bed as well. I think I'm at a stripper's place. But yeah. Decent to be fair. Look at the view. This just, hotel. Oh mate, I just walked into this hotel, right, and there was a picture of a woman like holding a golf holding a golf club. Sort of like in a in a bit of a dodgy way, isn't it? Like I don't know. I look at that and yeah, I'm a like a bit sexual, yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. Yeah. And there was a little red phone next to the bed. And there was a little chair next to... Like, not, not a little chair. It's one of those ones where you can put your feet up and chill. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, oh my God. What have, I, what, have I, what have I done? I genuinely thought I booked a stripper's hotel. But then I it seen... It wouldn't surprise me with you. I, I remember seeing an old couple walking out as I was walking in. So I thought, nah, there's no way. There's you no never way know. again down and dirty. You never know. This is... Filthy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you never know this is britain <laughs> anything can fucking happen mate it's crazy yeah you always end up in situations like that like nothing can go right for you no no nothing can no, just not even right nothing can just go normal yeah yeah <laughs> like you book a hotel it was a holiday inn I know. like you can't go wrong with holiday inn usually yeah oh no no sorry no, no it mine, what was again? mine was mine was just a Something red. Radisson, Radisson Red. Radisson Red. Radisson Red. And that's a chain. Yeah. So that's playing it safe. <laughs> and you get in and there's just tips and golf. Yeah. And the thing is, I thought, <laughs> I when I booked it, it yeah. was just like, weird. there was pictures on the wall. It's like a Chinese woman with her hat down. So it's nothing dodgy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, that's an all right hotel. I'll go there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I go into mine and it's just yeah. I start thinking, oh my god, this is this ain't yeah. great. This is not good. I'm in a situation <laughs> again. But best thing about my hotel, mm. the next day, obviously, I woke up very, very hungover. In yeah, a very bad state. I, I was surprised you woke up. I I thought you were gonna miss the train. I was that drunk. I was that ill and mm. hungover. I went into the bathroom, turned the shower on. And was lying down on the floor in a ball with the hot water just hitting me. I was like, I feel, I, this is awful. I don't ever want to feel like this again. At night or in the morning? In the morning. You were just curled up in the ball curled with the shower? Curled up in the ball feeling sorry for myself, lying on the, lying on the tray. 
<laughs> the tray. The door was open. So if the cleaners walked in there, would it just see Imagine. me in a ball on the floor? Imagine. <laughs> what would you do? There was just a cleaner there, just like. I've had a situation like that before. What? So what, in I, a hotel? Yeah, no. So it was, well, yeah, it was in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, or was it Turkey? Basically, mm. I was just getting in the shower and obviously they come around and like clean your room. Housekeeping. Yeah, yeah housekeeping. Yeah. housekeeping. And they just walk in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's happened to me so many times. I was I obviously getting into the shower, but I'd left my towel in the room. Oh, God. So I left the shower room just holding old in the wood <laughs> <laughs> yeah just cup it yeah, yeah. <laughs> just cup it and then I've ran over and in that moment they've walked in how's keep in oh I'll come back soon oh fuck what and you're just bollock naked getting right. your towel well they only seen back and crack you know what I mean? <laughs> oh that's still bad though isn't it yeah oh I hate stuff like that because there's no Fuck way you sake. look manly. You lose your whole manlyhood. I yeah. jump beyond the wall. There's nothing more <laughs> unattractive than a naked man. Nah, 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 it nah. Just nah. literally isn't anything more unattractive than a naked man. Uh, yeah, and um, my physique, mate. I'm a naked boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <For fuck laughs> you look hench. Hench. Yeah. What just in mean? a whole like new thing. Like you're looking hench. What is in? Now or do you, what no do you mean? now like you look hench. Fair, I, but I walked it. in and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm getting in the gym. Yeah, you I could. actually hit a um, I hit a little milestone in the gym the other day. Did you? Yeah, I benched. Well, it's, it's fucking nothing. I benched um sixty kg, which is a fair bit. Yeah, but it's it, not bad. You got to start somewhere. But don't I you? was you like, start somewhere. That felt good. That was my first little milestone, but. I'm trying. I need to. Uh, I want to cut a little bit of weight, though. I miss my seventy-five. Nah, I miss. Nah, nah, I miss nah. my seventy-five hard body. No, nah, I think you look good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that to someone because I ain't saying it with any sexual meaning. I'm just yeah. saying, like, no, you do I know just what you genuinely mean. look. I know looking... what you mean. They don't, but I do. <laughs> you're in your best shape that I've ever seen you in. So well you done, mate. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm glad. To be fair, I'm glad that I've put on weight. Mm to be yeah, fair yeah, yeah, because yeah. like I used to be skinny as fuck mm. I couldn't put it anything on yeah, yeah so but then again I'm sort of a bit now I'm like damn I kind of want to cut a little bit nah 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 because I'm not used to it like I've never had weight on me before so I've got a little bit of weight on me now and I'm a bit like uh, I don't like it because I'm not used to it but yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to gain muscle so if, I, I appreciate that if you if you lose if you lose the weight I think it'll just look yeah, it'll, it'll yeah. Probably, I'll probably look weak. It'll kill the look. Yeah, 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 it'll kill the vibe. Yeah, it will. You know, it will. Yeah, everyone's used to this now. <laughs> but um, no, I appreciate that. But um, nah, man, it was a, it was a good night, man. It doesn't feel real, like just everything, like the fact that not even my bit, but like the fact that um, James and Fred have done it as well. Yeah, it doesn't that... feel real. I can't process it. And the, the fact that there was, was a whole big. Mamma Mia thing going on. And then you look around and you hear people talking about going to yeah. see them rather than going to see Mama yeah. Mia. It's insane. The flex was we sent in our work group chat like two days prior the O2, the, um, what's it called? TFL? The the London transport thing. They put they always put notices up when there's going to be like disruptions on the tube and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They put up saying shits and gigs live, no gonna be way. disruptions. And that's I was like, insane. that's a flex. Yeah, that is crazy. You've disturbed public transport. But they <laughs> but they locked off the whole area. They locked yeah. off the whole area. It Genuinely. Was crazy. Everyone was like, um me and like everyone else was supposed to walk down to the O2 together yeah. the people was with. And um there was like bar and meters, meters, we'll walk down. No, we'll get an Uber. Mm. And they said, don't worry, we'll walk. Mm. Literally, for, we it was like a 10 minute walk and you couldn't get, the Uber couldn't get anywhere. That's crazy. You'd have to wait about 40 minutes for the Uber to get to us. Mm. To be fair, I traveled from Shoreditch and it's supposed to be like half an hour or something to like an hour. Yeah. And I was like, mate, and it was like, yeah, everything's locked off. I was like, this is insane. It was, it was mental to be yeah, fair. Yeah, man. I can relax now as well because I was way too nervous. I don't know if it like, to be fair, I've never seen you nervous, but yeah. like 
when I'm nervous, yeah, I can't eat. Like, yeah. not everything goes. I got told that you weren't eating. Really? I got, yeah, I got told that you weren't eating. And I was, I, yeah. want, I wanted to send a message like, you'll be sound, you'll be sound. But then I'd, like, I didn't want to send that message and you're already in a thing where you're like, okay, I'm locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you, and yeah, then I know I'm what you like, mean. taking you back. I know, no, I know what you mean. Like, I appreciate those messages, but I'm also the type of person where it's like, if you just leave me be, yeah. give me space. Because that's the thing, you, like, you know me, so you were just like, yeah. obviously I'm not going to message him. But like, I appreciate that messages because I did get messages about it. But yeah, I'm the type of person that's like, give me space. Give time. Let me just chill. Let you work out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, let me w- crack on. Yeah, I'll yeah. just work it out yeah, and I'll crack yeah. on. But yeah. But the first thing I thought when I got off, I was like, I'm fucking starving. Because yeah. like, everything just went. All the stress just went. And I was like, I'm so hungry. That's what they need in Damn. the O2. They need like a little KFC somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> they did. I wanted, I've never wanted a Nando so badly. I know, yeah. That would be, I oh. never wanted, a, I wanted a half a chicken. I wanted mac and cheese. Yeah, I wanted yeah, everything. Yeah. Get all the that, calories every, in. Yeah, yeah. Get all the calories in. Nah, oh. Nando's in that situation. It's just you cannot go wrong. Nan- yeah. Nando's. What's your wait? wait top three mm. food things, food restaurants. Is it in like takeaway or restaurant? Takeaway. Yeah. Takeaway. Um, in order, uh, it's got to be Mackey's. Top. Okay. Mackey's just slaps. I had a Mackey's on that night. Is this all time or slapped. current? Um, all time. I We're going Mac- all time. Mackey's has always been. Yeah, Mackey's has always just hit. Okay. Um, and then I'd I'd say Domino's second. Yeah, do, do you know what I forgot about Domino's? Domino's is a great shout. Domino's is banging, but you can't have it too much. Because if you start, yeah, I've yeah, had yeah. it. I've had yeah. it before when I used to work in kitchens. I'd get back like mega late, like twelve, mm. and nothing else was open but Domino's. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah, I got yeah. in a phase of ordering it quite a lot. It's grim. And then you got, yeah, yeah then you, you go, go off it for like three years. Yeah, because it's too much. It's like 2,000 calories a pizza. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> when you run it with no issues. <laughs> mate, I don't, Whole slices go yeah. in. How does oh, mate. salty bread fucking <laughs> equivalent to this many calories? It's fu- like, you feel like shit, but it is banging. Once you eat it, you feel awful about yourself. Though. And then probably third, I'd say... Nando's it's technically yeah. like a restaurant but I, I order it a fair yeah, bit yeah no I'd, I'd Nando's say Nando's is, is banging is food. Nando's is yeah mm. because mine's yeah, weird, mine would have to be on current mood because all time I don't think I could do it yeah to be fair it's quite difficult it's it's what you're feeling on the night bottom of the list I don't care what anyone says yeah Burger King Burger King is so dead yeah I'm not a fan <laughs> to be fair I have to be in the mood I like think I, really have to be in the mood yeah for Burger King. I think I've been there once. I don't remember. I don't. <laughs> I think I went in there one time in my life and I thought, this is crap. It just tastes like a heart attack. Yeah. It's, it's not like, even oh. nice. It's not even like I had uh, the other day. You ever had Shake Shack? No. Oh, it's banging. <laughs> Burgers and milkshake. It's fu- the fucking milkshake weighs. It's like heavy. Oh, wait. I might have had a milkshake from there. You probably have. They're famous have for their mil- milkshake. Yeah, yeah. I might have had a milkshake yeah. from there then. But I had a burger from there the other day. And it's like, it's grim in terms of like, you know, it's like grim. Yeah. Like in terms of calories and shit. But it's banging. Burger King is grim and it tastes grim. Yeah. There's nothing good about it. Do you like Five Guys? Yeah. Yeah. See, again, I've had one five guys. Banging. And you know when you're not in the mood for that kind of food, but you just eat it? Oh, yeah. That's the worst time to have it. So I've had a five guys and I didn't enjoy the, enjoy nah. the whole operation. No, 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 Because nah, nah. my mind weren't in that. Operation. In that. My, mind was, my mind was it. At that time, my mind was chicken shop. Strict Fair. chicken shop. But now, I'm, now I can't go chicken shop. I had food poisoning from chicken shop the other, uh, the other week. Wait, from our regular? <laughs> yeah. From, oh, uh, no. No, nah, nah, it weren't. Oh, Cause <laughs> we go to a place called <laughs> right, and then that got yeah. shot up. <laughs> got, shot. got shot up. Did it? What yeah, recently? Got, uh, must have been about two months ago. The net, the next door people got shot, and it went through the wall. Fucking hell! It went into. I think. Damn. And then it got locked off for a bit. So I went. Oh, I'd never go there. The I've heard day, stories from there. The next day. Oh my god. I don't know. I can't explain what was coming out of my mouth. No. I don't no. even know what it was. I've heard stories. 
went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had yeah. maggots in his uh, sick. Ah. Uh. He said he had a pizza from there. Threw up maggots. Pizza as well. That's from a pizza. Nah, nah. That's nah, nah, fucking nah, nah. grim. But mine was on a Leicester match day, so the amount of people that, that would have oh, got food poisoning from God. there is insane. Yeah, that's the worst time to go. I was I was match ill day. for like four days, and I, I ain't been in, in a chicken shop for like it must be about what? six seven months. Like touch wood, yeah. Touch wood. Um, <laughs> I I've never had food poisoning. It's the worst. It's the worst. I, it sounds awful. I know Apparently, people who have nearly ended up in hospital from it. Jesus. I've heard when you have food, this sounds grim. When you have food poisoning, it comes out both ways. Well, it does. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it does. Apparently it's it just, does. you're sitting down and then you're throwing up, then yeah. you sat back down, yeah. then yeah. you throw, like, it's constant. And it's constant as well. Yeah. So you think, oh, I've, oh, em I'm, I've emptied no. the tank for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't. You've emptied the tank for 20 seconds. I've got to get no. out. Get out of the fucking toilet. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing worse when like you will fucking kill someone yeah to get to that toilet oh mate it's whether worst. it be not even if you're ill whether it, if you just need a piss oh, like, I you, to say I will, that. like oh tell me tell me right it's the worst thing because i think everyone does this i think everyone does yeah this. yeah when you need a piss and you're driving home, you yeah. pull up, your parking's crap because you don't even care. You're like, I need to piss, right? Yeah. <laughs> you get out mm. and you start doing this with the key at the door. <laughs> I'm going to do a little demonstration as well. You do this. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what am I even dancing for? Oh. <laughs> and, you can't, and then you can't get the key in the door. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> I did it. Literally. I did that. Like... It's times like this where I hate having a ring because I think this has caught some stuff <laughs> because like, I can't remember when it was. It was, a f it was a few months ago and I was coming back from London and it hit me. I just got off the train in Leicester <laughs> and it hit me and there's nowhere the worst, to go. Man. There's nowhere to fucking go. And my, I had my Uber already booked. So ah. I was there. I, was, I, had to, I had no choice. Yeah. So I had to just get in and it was like, well, they just wanted to chat. Yeah. And he was just like, you're right, mate. And I was just like, How yeah. you been, mate? You yeah, put your hand in your pocket. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocking just... <laughs> <laughs> <Back> the pipe. <laughs> Wait, have you ever done that, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just blocking it. It's not healthy. Don't do it. <laughs> it stops it for like 20 seconds. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. Like, oh shit. It comes back double time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do it. Uh, and you can't be subtle about it. You know, it's just like... <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, that is exactly what I do. And then, it, yeah, it's just talking to me the whole way. And I was just like, oh, for fuck's sake, please. And I was, oh, I was just like, <laughs> the answer was I was just like, if I let go uh, of this, this is gonna trickle. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can't let it. So yeah, I was basically just gripping my knob the whole time. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> and he's looking at you in the mirror. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> fucking weirdo. One star. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing knob the whole time. Pervert. <laughs> um, and then um, what was it? Yeah, and then oh my god. He couldn't park slower. <laughs> like, he was so like, mate, anywhere is fine. I said fucking stop. <laughs> Literally, I remember we got into the street and I was like, anywhere around here is perfect, mate. And he was just like, nah, which one's your house? I'll drop you off it. I was like, yeah, it's fine, it's mate. Fine. Just stop. <laughs> I'm going to run quicker than you can drive. <laughs> please, mate. Please. I'm going to wash your windscreen. Man. Like, like, please stop. And he was just like, no, where do you live? I was like, just stop, please. <laughs> you drove past it, you can't. And then he's just like, <laughs> and speed bumps as well. He's just like, oh, speed bumps <laughs> in those situations. They're risky. If you're with people, you know, you're sitting around and you go, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then I got to the door. I had to, I was doing that little thing. And then <laughs> the I had to, I fucking unlocked the door because, for some reason, you can't unlock the door. It's like yeah, a horror no, film when horrible. someone's chasing you. Yeah. You can't unlock the fucking door. <laughs> so I was just like, <laughs> and then I unlocked it and then I could feel it about to come oh, out. Man. And I was like, no, I started jogging on the spot. <laughs> I started just jogging on the spot. I was literally like, come on, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and then I managed to just like, 
you've got to, when you move in, you're basically buying yourself a little bit of time yeah, you, because it's basically a ticking time bomb. Yeah, you're, t- you're, moving, you're moving the piss somewhere else. Yeah, it's like swishing around a little bit and it's like, it goes somewhere else, it's but it comes back, bottle. bro. It's like a sun time, right? It's, fuck, it's coming, it's, it's going to, it, it's, it, we it's, need to release piss. Yeah, like you basically only buy yourself a little bit of time. So when I was jogging on the spot, I was like, I think I've got a good solid five seconds yeah. from yeah, this yeah, jogging. Yeah. Then you got and then dash. literally I just went, Bang, straight for the door. My bag went flying. I shut the door. I didn't even lock it. I shut the fucking time door. For that later. Shut up. And then I was just like, and you literally get it to like there. And it's yeah, just like, it's a, <laughs> it's just like, oh, shit. Get control. And then the tiniest piss comes up. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, <laughs> do you ever, in them situations, do you, I don't know if I'm a weirdo for this, yeah. right? Oh, you God. look at your piss and you're like, you was hurting me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel happiness. <laughs> no, I look at it and I'm like, "What? Wow, how did that hurt, mate? How did that hurt? Because it hurts." Yeah, yeah, it it's hurts. painful. Oh, yeah, bro, needing a piss is the worst. It is actually the worst thing in the world. Like, I hate it. On the topic, it's so risky, man. On the topic of Uber drivers, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm gonna say. What are you, wait, what are you gonna say? I think on the way back from London, I think I fell in love with the Uber driver. And I think he fell in love with me. Oh, I yeah. I had my headphones on. You were just chatting. Oh, oh, mate. Fucking hell. I thought you were going to... I thought he was going to drop his home and you two were just going to drive off into the he sunset. Got, uh, he got out and he was, he was still chatting to me outside the taxi. <laughs> he got out to help get the bags out and then me and him was just chatting. Oh, man. Yeah, you, you two. You were talking about music, weren't you? Talking, but that's how it started. Then he just started talking about drink. Then he started talking about nights out. <laughs> and I think genuinely, if I said, do you want to go on a night out with me? I think he would have. You think he would have? Fair. Well, <laughs> there's Bar and Side Hustle podcast. <laughs> me and the Uber driver. Car thoughts. He was, no, he was, he was the coolest dude <laughs> yeah. I think I've ever met in my life. Sometimes you meet the best people in an Uber and they just sound. They just understand. They just sound. Yeah. I've met some absolute legends before. Yeah. No, I'm the same. Yeah. Like What's your best one? What's strong your best? Strong friends. <laughs> like, I actually wanted to be mates with them at the end. Um, I'm trying to remember specifically. So, I remember ages ago, I'm pretty sure I was working in the kitchen. I was coming back from my shift. So, I got an Uber from town and I was driving, we were driving back. And I can't remember, but he was just the happiest person in the world. <laughs> and he was just lovely. And he just had this sick energy. And he was just like, yeah, yeah man, I love ones like that. Like I love ones like that. He was just buzzing. And he had nothing. Like a lot of them, you get in and you're like, oh, <laughs> most of these guys are suicidal, mate. Yeah. Like no. most of them, you just say like, how was your day? And it's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. It's a point. It's this, <laughs> this shit again. Right. And he was like, fucking just bullshit. Or the ones what okay. literally ignore you and just speak to their family on the radio. On the to little fair, earpiece. I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't mind that because then we're both on the same page. It's yeah, like, you're not You just not chill, chill, I just chill. That's cool. But it's when they're just depressing. Like I got in the other day and he was like, I was like, oh, how's your day been, man? He's like, fuck all. You're like my third one. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just and, chill then, and then he was like, after lockdown, just... No one wants to spend money anymore. <laughs> I was just like, I'm getting emotional. Okay. This. And yeah. And then I thought we'd go to drivers on the other side of the fucking road. <laughs> Kill us both. <laughs> he was literally just, just one handed. He was just opening up. He was just like, just, no one wants to fucking spend money anymore. What's the fucking point? You is, Why am I doing this? You is get a jail card. Yeah. You could have saved him. I think I did. I, I did speak to him. <laughs> We're just laughing about I this. Get... It's actually probably, <laughs> probably genuinely serious. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like I was giving him advice as best I could, but I was just like, yeah, you know, it's you know, things will pick up, mate. And he was just like, yeah, was, what's the fucking point? <laughs> and I was just like, okay, and it was just like, just, no, no one wants to do it anymore. It's just, what's the point when people don't want to pay? For my service, what's the point anymore? What's the point of me getting up in the morning? Yeah. Well, those dogs. And then he was just like, there's just too many people in the world. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. And then he was like, there's too many taxi drivers. That's the problem. And I was like, oh, okay. 
And then, yeah. Um, and then I got in another one before and I was just like, how you doing, man? He was like, fucking knackered. <laughs> and, <I was> like, <laughs> okay. and then he was like, yeah, I've, I'm in loads of debt, so I'm trying to pay it off. I was like, oh, fucking hell. So that was like a second job. Yeah. It gets dark wow, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But you do get these glimmer of lights. Everyone, yeah. Where they're sick. Like this guy was really positive, really nice bloke. Um, I can't remember. We just ended up speaking about vodka the whole time. He just loved vodka. He's like, I love vodka. <laughs> That's dangerous when he's your driver. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit like, okay. Have you had any fucking tonight? <laughs> like, he was just talking about vodka. He's like, I love vodka. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I can't remember how it came up. That is midlife crisis to me, yeah. ever But he was so positive, though. Maybe it was the drink. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was just so positive. <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, I love vodka. It's banging. I've, I've, I've had all kinds. I've been all over the world. I've tried vodka. I love it. And I was just like, okay. And then he was like, my wife loves it. I love it. My kids love it. And I was like, how <laughs> old, old are these seven. kids? <laughs> yeah. But no, he just chatted about vodka the whole time. But he was just... He was just sick. I don't. I can't describe it. I can't remember it specifically, but he was just a legend. <laughs> he was just cool as shit. What was the best one you've had? Oh, the best one I've had. Oh, no. There was one. I can remember his name, but I can't remember why he was cool. I think he just had band night. His name was like Hassan. Mm. He was he was cool. I can mm. remember him, but I can't remember much about the ride. But about three months ago, I got in a taxi from town. Yeah must have been about two in the morning and well it was from near town and <clears throat> i got invited into someone's house but right. i said no yeah so i just wanted to go home i was tired <laughs> tired <laughs> yeah 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 and then um when she closed the door i said to her i said bro i'm just i'm just so tired i don't i don't <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> And he was dying. He was started creasing, creasing. <laughs> then he started telling me he was like city boy. You know what I mean? Oh. He started telling me stories and stories and stories when I was eighteen, when I was nineteen. <laughs> oh mate! And we was because I'm because I'm like I just find everything funny when I'm lit anyway. Mm. We was just dying on the way. He had tears coming out his eyes. <laughs> And I think that was another time I might have fell in love with a taxi driver. <laughs> you used to have a thing with taxi drivers. <laughs> you used to have a thing with taxi drivers. He was, he was, he was amazing, man. Just it, like he could have had a podcast just from that trip on the way home. Yeah, yeah. He was so funny. Just the stuff he was saying, he was proper. Like they always have stories. They've always lived like sick lives. I know. Like sick lives, not like the happy ones, not the fucking. Um, but like they, they just have unlimited stories. Yeah, I think they make it up. At the same time, I reckon they take customer stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got him one the other day from the train station and he picked me up and then he was like, Joe, you know, like the people in fucking scooters, the electric scooters. Yeah, oh, they're so annoying. They piss Just me piss off. off. Just walk. I know. Like, it's fucking hell, man. It's when you see kids in balaclavas. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we're from. You see kids in balaclavas. On the same scooter. Yeah, hugging. This is this is not normal. Me and my mate had it once. Um, me and uh, when we used to work together, we were walking to work once. I can't remember what happened, but they like almost hit us with a scooter, and then was like, "Just fucking watch where you're going." And yeah. then it was just one guy on a scooter. Yeah, I swear to God, he he whipped around. And he was like, "What you fucking say?" They're so vexed. All yeah, the time. I, I was like, "Just relax, mate." Yeah. We just said, "Don't hit." <laughs> like, don't fucking smack into us. And then um, he was like. He said something. I can't remember what he said. He said something like, oh, you fucking pussy hole or whatever. And then he was like, <laughs> get on. And he, he picked up his mate and his mate just went, well, right, right so, and then yeah. they went pusses and went, went off. I was like, I know, mate, yeah. you're, you're literally your bumming friend. each other on a scooter. <laughs> and then I, what my mind always goes back to, when I was like 12, right? Yeah. I gave my friend a croggy and got called a homo. <laughs> Why am I a homo for giving him a croggy? But you would see it. And then I, I swear, it must have been the same dude yeah. on a scooter <laughs> hugging his friend. How yeah, these are like thinking, Sorry. around the waist. Like, I know, literally I like know. this. They're breathing on the neck. At least get like a double one. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, get there's, a plus no size way, one. there's no way I'm a homo and you're hugging your friend on the back of a scooter. <laughs> Sorry. Cro croggies are fine. Croggies are sound. There's nothing wrong with croggies. He said, oh yeah, but he's massaging your shoulders. 
Not really. Not really. Unless he's fucking creepy, mate. <laughs> no, he's just he's massaging, is he? Holding on so he don't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> like, geez, but you're Christ. there in public hugging your friend's waist. <laughs> and calling me a pussy. <laughs> no, no. But um, yeah. And then um, so we saw one of them on the road and he was like, oh, these fucking scooters are pissing me off. And I was like, yeah, they are a bit annoying, aren't they? <laughs> and then he was like, oh, mate, the other day. Like, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> he was like, mate, the other day, yeah. I had three of them on me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was driving. Oh yeah. <laughs> he was like, I had one in front and two on the side. They blocked me in. No, this is fake. This yeah, is fake. I know. Just from that no, set, this know. is fake. <laughs> <laughs> he went, they blocked me in, yeah? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the juice? And he was like, yeah, I swear to God, they, they fucking blocked me in. I opened the window, I said, move yourself. They said, shut up. <laughs> He went cool. real comeback. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like, "That doesn't happen here. You don't just get told to shut up here. You get told your family has AIDS. <laughs> Suck your mom. Suck your mom, and then they pull a knife out. <laughs> That's how it goes around here, literally." And then he was like, "Yeah, well, after he said that, I was like, who's he fucking speaking to?" <laughs> I went to go get out of the car, um, but I had a customer in the back. No, Massive right. hench, bodybuilder, <laughs> jujitsu king. Jujitsu king. You just knew that. Yeah. He had his, head, he had his karate, his karate headband on. Yeah, he had his credentials <laughs> on his fucking t-shirt. And then um, he was like, he said, oh, my client just tapped his AirPods and said, what's going on? He said, oh, these guys have blocked us in, causing trouble. I'm about to get out. He went, leave it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he said, my customer got out, grabbed one of them, threw him into the other one. The other one tried to run. He grabbed him, pulled him back and battered him, got in the car and said, continue driving. Uh, he did. So like, he just didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he fucking didn't. And he was just like, yeah. And then we just ragged off. They're all on the floor. Yeah. This is a, scattered. Yeah. That customer's actually my brother. <laughs> and then I just drive, drive around him for situations like that. Just bullshit. You're lying. Stop. It makes you more tired when they're chatting bullshit. I'm looking at their lips moving. I'm like. <laughs> you just exhausted. <laughs> but it's entertaining though. Even if they are fake, some of them are funny. I can't They're really just entertaining. think of it. The only person I can think of when driving who had loads of stories was my driving instructor. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. And he was just like, he loved wine. <laughs> so at that point as well, where does that become an issue with, with Why do drivers love drinking so well, yeah, much? Yeah, they love drinking. <laughs> what the fuck? Drivers love drinking. Yeah, apparently so. They love drinking. You do driving as a profession, and apparently you just love drinking. Have you seen the clip where the driving ban for drinking got introduced? No. It was like the, the day before they were asking people, going, and he's going, oh, I can drive sound on six beers. It's like nine, I don't know what year it was, 19. Jesus. Like, I can drive fine on beers, on 10 beers. 10 <laughs> beers? <laughs> just just chatting waffle, because that's how they used You're to. You're barely seeing me. Used to be. That's crazy, man. The fact. It should just be like the fact that we have these rules for people. It's like these things are just given. They're just a given. I know. Don't fucking drink and drive. Yeah, yeah. Why do we have to make that a law? It's crazy. <laughs> like it's like um, Ricky Gervais said it on his stand up before. Yeah. He was like, oh, do you know how like we always ask the general public for stuff? Like, oh, let's ask the general public. He's like, don't ask the general public. We're all fucking idiots. Yeah. He was like, he said, he was like, it's very true. He was like, Take the labels off bleach, what says do not drink, and then af then ask for public opinion. Yeah. So yeah. they all just die out. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. The fact that on bleach it has to say do not drink. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, the it's toilets, like, it's like, that's what I was saying to you. I What's picked going up on? A, I was eating a bag of peanuts, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the advice on the back was may contain nuts. <laughs> it's peanuts. <laughs> It's literally the product nuts. you're buying is literally peanuts. Yeah. You don't need to say may contain nuts. It's literally peanuts. And it's not may contain nuts. It, it contains <laughs> nuts because it is nuts. Yeah. It's just to say this is nuts. <laughs> it's Peanut, nuts. It's it nuts like right we're putting this on face. the fucking packaging. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's because a Karen would kick off though. Like say if a fucking kid had a, like a little allergic reaction, you'd be like, well, you didn't tell me it contained nuts. Because it fucking is nuts. Well, it's one less stupid cunt in the world, isn't it? <laughs> I hate stuff like that. You know when you see, oh, 
we jumped in the river, but there was no signs to say don't jump in the river. Yeah. Now it's I've a hit given, a rock. mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you mean you jumped in where you can't see the bottom and you've hit a rock? Yeah. Now Literally. you're moaning because there's no signs. <laughs> but if there's signs, the dad then comes down and goes, oh, too many, too many signs too many rules in this place. Too many, yeah, too many rules. When I was 15, I used to jump in the water, break my legs and carry on swimming. <laughs> Every dad used to do that. I think, I, I don't know if it's true, but I think England is the has the most rules. Like to keep for like safety and that. So, you know, when you go like, like swimming, health and safety. no diving, yeah. no going down the slide backwards. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Down the slide, but I've never gone. I would never brave enough to go down a slide backwards. I had no choice one time, so I fell. You know these these big donut slides, like they're like massive circles, and then there's a hole in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. they're terrifying. One of them had a drop in, and I've just flew around in this inflatable, <laughs> whizzing around. Oh shit! This is the shit. <laughs> this is life. <Yeah. laughs> and then I've just gone over to the hole and there's literally it's gravity you're just getting yeah. pulled towards yeah, the hole yeah 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 scary I've been in one before and I've gone down this way <laughs> just oh. gone backwards oh what a cried I screamed and then you go into like a massive tank of water yeah you, you just yeah it's yeah. horrible I just flew down this thing and then I just shot out into loads of water I was like oh my god <laughs> what that is the, that's dangerous yeah it's terrifying I got stuck in a water slide one Did you? it was terrifying <laughs> that, that's most people's like fear it scared the shit I don't know what happened to the <laughs> current of the water it just stopped I don't know what happened that's where you start thinking this is going to fill up I just went yeah no that's what I was scared yeah, of yeah. before this is going to fill up and I'm dead yeah I can't remember what happened because there was like a street you know the <laughs> one the <laughs> yeah. tube one is that uh, which one the blue one or the green one that's the a blue. fast one the blue one. Oh no that's a green the, the green's the quick one because it gets it? dark in the middle doesn't it yeah that's why I was stuck <laughs> that's why I got fucking stuck literally oh, oh fucking hell it was horrible because I had like the little stream of water where it makes you go down and then we we're going I was going rapid I was racing my uncle or my cousin or whatever going crazy and then the stream started getting like thinner and thinner as yeah, I was yeah, going yeah. I was noticing it and I was like oh whatever it's cool and then it was just getting thin and thin and thin and then suddenly how did they fix that issue? They just sent more water down. <laughs> That's what they did. They, they spoke to me because I got, I just noticed it was getting thinner and thinner and then it was just like, well, they shouted from the top. Yeah. Because I was like halfway. There's I was no like halfway. Way. So they shouted. It took ages because <laughs> it, it would travel and then I'd have to respond and it'd take ages. It's like in, um, do you know on, in the news when they talk to people from different countries yeah. <laughs> and they always go like, so Phil, how was it there? And he's like, yeah, cheers, Sarah. It was really good. Yeah, it sounded... It, it was like that. It was the most annoying thing ever. And they were just like, right, mate, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, what shall I do? <laughs> right, so basically, we're going to send more... It was fucking annoying. And basically, they had to just like send more water down. I can't remember what happened. The supply just mental. stopped. That and they had to mad. send loads of, and I was like fucking hell and they just sent it down <laughs> because the thing is the, the water came before the, the announcement <laughs> so they just went it was really, <laughs> they just sent loads of water down take a deep breath <laughs> yeah. and I was just like Fing. they were just like water's coming <laughs> I was going fucking flying it was only it wasn't long it was probably like 10 seconds do you know but it was scary I had the worst situation at Scary there, dodgy swimming place. Pool. <laughs> yeah, I think I was about eight, so mm. I was just learning to swim. Like, yeah, I'm not a good swimmer, but I was, I was trying. Yeah, of and I was just whacking my arms about swimming. Yeah, and I've just pure got pure swam across. My eyes are closed because I'm under the chlorine. Yeah, yeah, and I've just gone whack mm. with my arm and just pure like punch a woman in the tit. <laughs> oh, oh, in the, the tit, tit as well. Yeah. And oh, I stood bless up, her. and she was there with like a little kid. Uh, I've just punched her in the tit, <laughs> and like I've kind of got up, and I'm still, and my eyes are closed. Like, <laughs> so I've had to wipe my eyes, and then I've looked, and she's like, <laughs> the side eye of me. Her kids watch me just punch her mum in the tit, and I'm just stood there like, I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to be here anymore. Swimming pools in general um, are just fucking dodgy. I've been attacked twice in a pool. What in attacked in public pools or yeah? School? <laughs> I went to Water World. Water World. Have you ever been? Is it Water World? Yeah, it's water. I think it's called Water World. Where is it? Um, I can't remember. It's probably like 
45 minutes or something away. Oh, right, right. right. I can't remember. It's not like local. Um, yeah, I think it was Waterworld. I went there. I got attacked there twice <laughs> on different <laughs> days. <laughs> I got attacked. I went, uh, there's a bit where it's like a lazy river. Yeah. They're goated. Yeah, they're sick. They're so goated. Yeah, you're just chilling. Yeah. And uh, you're just relaxing. And it's like, it's basically like a spa. You're just relaxing. It's a lazy river. I just, yeah. And then um, I was chilling. And then, um, what was it? Yeah, I was chilling for a bit. And then I felt like swimming. To go really fast. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm a bit bored. So I started going. I still don't know to this day who the fuck, because I wasn't with anyone. Everyone mm -hmm. else was in a different area. Yeah, I was, was on just, my own in this river. Yeah. And we're going, and I was going ham. And all of a sudden, the hardest slap on my back I've ever felt in my life. Oh, mate, I can hear that. Like, it was like... In a, in a pool environment, yeah. that, that echoes Yeah, like, and it's like... Tsh, 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 <laughs> like that. And I was like, fucking hell, like that. And I had like a red mark because I checked it one after in yeah, the mirror. Yeah. I still don't know to this day who did it. Someone slapped me and just went. How? how? I don't know. Someone <laughs> slapped me. That's evil. And just went. That's something what deserves jail time. Yeah. That, is, that genuinely deserves jail time. should get sentence for that. <laughs> and then another time, there was this, um, me and my cousins were fucking around and we always used to like, like play fight and shit. So we were just basically battering each other in the pool. <laughs> and some kid, well, at the time I was a kid, so I was probably about uh, like nine. This kid was about nine as well. He comes over and he's like, just thinks he's one of us. Yeah, yeah. So, because oh, so he starts scrapping. He starts scrapping me. Oh no, that's where went both you tag team him. Went up to me and he was like. <laughs> 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 yeah, and he just came over and he was like, oh, this looks sick. Bang! No, Punches no. me, and I was like, "Jesus!" Personal, personal, yeah. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and then he just—he started going ham. He was like, after he hit me, he just like started dunking me under the water and shit. I was like, "What? Well, I wasn't ready for this." And I popped up, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like that? And he was like, "We're playing, aren't we?" Because <laughs> my cousin seen me get attacked. Yeah. I was like yelling at him, like, "Mate." I don't fucking know you. Like, don't come up to me and start hitting me. My cousin just grabbed him from me <laughs> and took him under. And I was like, oh shit. And then started playing volleyball with him. Fuck. <laughs> he started throwing him about. Volleyball with him. Because yeah, there it, it was my two cousins. And they just grabbed him and threw him. And then my other cousin grabbed him and then threw him. And then just bouncing him across. And his mum came over. I was just like, so stop we're, it. Just said, we're playing, aren't we? Mate, don't get involved in this game. Yeah, don't start, don't start it because you can't finish. Yeah, because my this. cousins were lethal as yeah, well. They yeah, won't give a shit. Imagine the mum was like, "Stop it!" I suppose I didn't grab the mum and start <laughs> fucking throwing her as well. I don't know how we go on these fucking tangents. I don't even I, know how I we ended up. on I don't. We anything. started at the O2. We started at the O2, nice and wholesome, and now we're on getting beaten up in a swimming pool. Be beaten up at swimming world. <laughs> and then playing volleyball with a kid. <laughs> Sake. It was a good episode though. That was a very I good episode. I actually enjoyed that. Yeah. Another just like candid one. Yeah, yeah. I prefer them like this. On the last one we did, which, which was the Leicester one, that was purely candid, nothing planned. I much enjoy doing it like this. It's good to have yeah, a topic, yeah. don't get me wrong. Sometimes, you know, might slip a topic in. Yeah. But... I like it like this, you know. While we was learning, just chatting. while we was like sort of learning, getting in front of the camera. Yeah, that, of course. It was nice to have a topic just so we know what we're talking about. Yeah. And it never sort of died off. It's a bit off, of like a safety thing where you're like, all right, we've got all this, re we've got like a few clips and mm. stuff. We can bounce off that and that's all good. But Whereas now we're like, pros. <laughs> but now we're professionals. <laughs> we just need to get our fucking schedule straight. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I think we should start back back logging episodes yeah 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 i Double think that's log. gonna help so much i do as well just yeah, because man. we do miss a lot of weeks and it just yeah that's the thing it's no one's fault we're just busy we're we're making moves we're busy people if we can keep to this schedule yeah i don't see why two episodes a week wouldn't be not two episodes a week like released but like no, but filmed backlog i don't see why we wouldn't be able to do that because, yeah yeah 100 yeah. percent. because i like i'm in no rush now Mm. I don't think you're in any rush. No, 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 not at all. 
And that's the thing, like, it'd be good to backlog and stuff as well. Like, for example, end of July, I'm going to America. Oh, no, I'm going to miss you. For, like, two weeks. I'm gone. That's going to be sad. I'm going to come back fat and with an accent. No, man, you got the hench thing going on. <laughs> got the hench I do, thing going I definitely on. want to hit a gym in Amer- uh, gyms in America if I can. That'll be sick. That's another thing. I'm looking forward as to As well, that. actually, about the O2. Mm. You know how built, like, the guys look... James, James yeah, yeah. Fu, even Rem. Mm, yeah, Rem's mad. Yeah, I think Rem. In person, they're stacked. Yeah. You know, seeing it, yeah, in, yeah. seeing it on video, you're like, yo, they're they're hench. But seeing it in in real and life, and when you like hug them and stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, mate, they're fucking jacked. Yeah, it's like it's just pure muscle. Like when when James hugged me on the on the stage, I was getting dragged about, and I'm like, I can't control myself. He's just he's got me. The thing is, you know, when he said it in the show, James said, some uh, girl said to him before, his t shirt needs to grow sleeves. Or, or, his t shirt needs to grow sleeves, just basically taking a piss out of his skinny arms. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I felt that. I felt that in the moment. I was really? like, oh, shit. Look how skinny I am. Yeah, but you're not. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, you, you've always been skinny. It's just how you are. You've got a fast metabolism. Yeah. You know, when I'm like 30. You know, when I'm like 30, I swear to God, I'm just going to be a fat shit. <laughs> I'm going to be a right fat shit. Do you want to put on weight? Like, if you could choose right now, like, oh, I want to put on this amount of weight. Well, I, couldn't, I couldn't care less. You're not bothered. <laughs> no, no, people... I, I remember you mentioning before, like, oh, I kind of want to put on weight. Like, I kind of want to stack mm. out a bit. Yeah, there's been times where I've been like, yeah, I need to go. Out. But then I just know I don't have the time to... to also, to though, I don't know if you can. Like, mean? just in terms of your... Because you've always been skinny. It Some was, people are just naturally skinny. It was when I it was when I was di- uh, diabetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, here's where we get all deep and emotional. <laughs> Sub story time. So I actually used to be fat. When I was like five, six, I used to be one of the fat kids at school. Really? Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, I didn't know that. I and mean, then I, obviously I got really ill. And then I've just been skinny since. But I'm always hungry. I'm always eating. Yeah. I'm like that. I just, I just, I can't put weight on. I don't get how I'm not fat. Like, am I, I've had this as well since, it's not like a, I've just got a really, uh, what's the, uh, what's the word? Um, I've just got a really big appetite. Mm. I always have. When I was a kid, like, like, <laughs> I'd do like little stuff. Like, I started cooking from really young because... Like, I liked to control my own portions. So when I used to get, oh, like, right. yeah, yeah. when my mum used to give me dinner and stuff, for example, it's not like she gave me shit por- portions. Don't starve me. No. Like, but I was always like, that ain't enough. Yeah, I could eat a bit more. I could eat another bowl of this yeah, easily. Yeah. yeah. So when I started cooking for myself, I could do my own portions. I was loving it. And I've always been like that, though. Like, I've just got a big appetite. Like, I did shit If like I that. order food, I'll go ham. Not yeah. crazy, but, like... I always make sure I've got a bit extra on the side. Yeah. yeah. Just so I've got it there. Mm. If not, I've got yeah, yeah, leftovers. Yeah. No, I, I was the same. Like I used to finish dinner and then like just like go and like sneak sneak a sandwich or something. Yeah, sneak sandwich honestly. Just... <laughs> 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 you, know what you shove it in and you just you just munch it. <laughs> yeah, I used to do a couple of them, but oh, nah, yeah, it's it's crazy. Any weight on. <laughs> yeah, that that was a good episode, man. So that was episode was it 13? Episode 13. That was episode 13. We should be back on a schedule now. We are back um, on a schedule now. By the way, <laughs> we have mi- mixed up the set. It might look a little bit more boring, but we just couldn't sit on those seats no. any longer. I like it. I, I'm a lot more comfortable and relaxed. I like having a sofa. seat over here. Yeah, like this sofa <laughs> is comfy. So I know it looks a bit boring. I don't, know what the, I don't know what the future will be. We'll maybe have a sign. I don't fucking know. A bit of artwork. I Suggestions. Don't Suggestions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suggestions. For the backdrop. Yeah, man. Something. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a... For context, like we're filming this in like my living room. So yeah. like I, I don't really want to have anything permanent. No. But I'm thinking maybe like a... Do you know you get those like big flags? Maybe like a flag book like with the logo on. Like other yeah. seat, yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. it's yeah, easily yeah. removable. Yeah. I can just pin it up and just have it here. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I like that idea. Actually. Uh, but we'll experiment and stuff. But uh, we're just a lot more comfortable, and the content will be better for it because 
I was dying over there. Yeah, we was fighting for a life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't like, like the look of it in the end. No, no, no. Do you know, because I, like, I was up here, you was down there. Was, the, in the and I just, not, I so looked swear. quite uncomfortable, I think. I looked quite uncomfortable. I could notice it when I was editing. I looked uncomfortable. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, like this needs to change. And as well, the the audio should hopefully sound better over here because it's not getting shh, shh. From, yeah, from oh. mine, it's not getting yeah. from yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why the fuck did we... I don't know why we got beanbagged. Yeah, it was a bad decision. For a podcast. What's going on? That was a bad, but inexperienced decision. The other one's me. comfy. Your one's comfy as hell. Yeah, but it's still going shh, 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 yeah, shh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Um, but yeah, we're back and I'm really happy to be back. Like I've been dying to make an episode. Yeah. It's not cause we're lazy. No. We were saying this before. It's yeah. not cause we're lazy. Don't want it to come across like we're being fucking late. Like I saw a comment and I really appreciated it. Cause he was like, he was literally like, I'm not saying this to be hate. It's no, there's no hate. Yeah. yeah. But he was like, you guys are really good, but. If you genuinely want to grow and do something, you need to be consistent. And, and it's true. true. It's, true, it's yeah. so true. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. We don't want anyone to think like, oh, whatever, I'll just push it to a side. Like, we have been trying to yeah, meet up. Yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah. But we really want to crack on with it, man, because this is so enjoyable. It's like a bit of escapism. It's like, just chilling, it is, yeah. sit down, get have things a laugh. off a chest. Yeah. It's therapy. <laughs> and it's just a good laugh, man. It's, a, it's, it's just a good time. So. I'm, I'm I'm really happy to be back. I'm buzzing yeah, to edit I am, this. I am, well. yeah. I'm buzzing to edit this and just crack on. It's gonna be fucking sick. It is, yeah. And we're let's go. Yeah. Sunday, we are back. Sunday for good. For good. Seven p.m. on Sunday. Signing off. Episode thirteen. Done. Done. Bang. Bang. See bang, you in the next bang, one. Bang. Boom. Let's go. Well done, mate. <laughs>